five, four, three. That's the end of the second quarter. It's time for the marching band to take the field. High school band members are definitely the stars of every halftime in Keystone Country, but the band members really deserve a lot more credit than they actually get. One, two, one, two, three, four. Kind of makes you think that a band director is a slave driver. Yeah, <laughs> I am. Um, you have to just keep telling them to do it again. They don't realize if one person makes a mistake, they have to do it again so that we don't have any mistakes. Each member of a marching band is like a piece of a giant jigsaw puzzle. And with bands that work hard, that puzzle always fits together. They work out under the lights, and everybody gives 110%. And after putting in all this overtime, they march off and head for home. But for a band preparing for a competition, the practice field is really their home. And as soon as the sun comes back up, they're back to work. Sometimes in an early morning practice, it takes a while to warm up, so they need a little inspiration. Every marching band in Keystone Country is dedicated like this. This is the Bedford High School Band, and they're preparing for the Atlantic Coast Band Championships. And in our next segment of Strike Up the Band, Action News will board the bus with these kids and travel to Langhorn in Bucks County for that competition. Baron Peterson, TV 10 Action News, Bedford. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Some of the finest entertainment you'll ever see is a Keystone Country High School marching band in action. A high school band is like a great big family. It's a family that's together almost all the time. And just like any other family, a high school band takes trips together. These are the Bedford Bisons, and they're loading up the bus and hitting the highway for a competition in Langhorn. And Action News is hitching a ride. On the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. We weren't on the road for very long when we came across another Keystone Country marching troop. Here's another band, folks. Well, I don't know what was happening on those buses, but our bunch was in a great mood. See what I mean? A marching band is a great bunch of kids, and they love their band director. Hey, they even give the guy presents. They gave me a devil's trident, kind of, I guess, to reflect what they feel my personality is with them. <laughs> Well, it's the thought that counts. We had performers from all phases of the band on our bus. I'm a flag. I play the clarinet. I'm a rifle. We even had a drum major on board. He's kind of in charge of the band during a performance. Is he tough on this group or cool with them? I don't know. Am I cool with you guys? <laughs> well, that's debatable, Major. And how about another leader, the rifle captain? What's her job? They're supposed to make them work, but they don't do too good at that. <laughs> what do all of these smiling faces like about being together in a marching band? I like to meet other people. You're in a group and have a lot of fun. The excitement of going places and seeing new things, I like it. You get to go a lot of places. Well, about the same as them. I don't want to repeat anything that they said. <laughs> 
Now the trip to Langhorn takes five hours. About halfway through, a band gets pretty hungry. Have you ever seen 125 kids invade a Turnpike McDonald's? Let me put it to you this way. My photographer and I were the last ones in line. And after we finish eating, we'll take you to the Atlantic Coast Band Championships and watch the Bedford Band get ready in our next segment of Strike Up the Band. Baron Peterson, TV 10 Action News. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Hey, Karina! I got your uniform here! This Keystone Country marching band is suiting up. We're in Langhorn in Bucks County for the Atlantic Coast Band Championships. The kids change clothes right on the bus. But what runs through their minds as performance time draws closer? It's neat because we'll get off the bus when we get to a competition, and it seems as though everybody's thinking about a million things. And as they get their uniforms on, there's almost a transition. Kind of a seriousness comes over the whole group. Tension begins to build. I can feel it calm in the air horns and the woodwinds form what's called a warm-up circle around their leader and he directs them into action one two three four one two ready and one one two three up Meanwhile, at the opposite end of the field, the percussion unit works with rapid-fire precision. Each division of the band works on drills to prime themselves for the big moment soon to arrive. As the time ticks down, the sections huddle together to psych themselves up for what lies ahead. But before they march together to this stadium, they gather around their band director, who's kind of a surrogate father, for last-second words of encouragement. I think it's important to note some things now, because it's the end of the year, really, as far as competition are concerned. A couple of you came over to me as we were starting to get ready and said, you know, it's been a good year. They all listen intently to pull out words that will help them give their best performance. Walk off that field feeling like it's been worthwhile, feeling like you had a good show tonight, and feeling like you're still that family we talked about at the beginning of the year. For now, the Bedford High School Band awaits their turn to perform. Join us for our final segment of Strike Up the Band, and we'll watch a marching band competition. Baron Peterson, TV 10 Action News, Langhorn, Bucks County. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Jam packed Neshemini Stadium in Langhorn, Pennsylvania. It's the Atlantic Coast Band Championships, and we're about to see a Keystone Country High School marching band in action. The judges are ready. Is the band ready? That's the cue for the band's drum majors to take center stage and salute to the crowd to signal their band is set to perform. That's right, you may enter the field for competition. After months of late hours on the practice field, the big moment has finally arrived. It all comes together. A band's performance is so precise, and these results come only from very hard work. But none of this is possible without the guidance and inspiration of a band director. 
How does it make him feel to watch his kids give it all they've got? Proud. Uh, I feel like they really worked hard this year. I feel like the seniors gave it everything they had, and uh, the band pulled together to go out there and do the best job they could to represent the school and the community, and did their best, and I thought they had a great performance. Uh, Put a lump in your throat? Yeah. I'm proud of them. Many members of the band are seniors, and for them, this is their final competitive performance as members of the Bedford High School Marching Band. How do those departing seniors feel about their last march? Well, it's sad in a way, but also when you think about coming and seeing the rest of the band next year and the year after that, it'll be good to see them. It was exciting. You know, it's just the last time I'll ever do the show. They return home early the next morning and unpack the bus. There is something that every band member from every Keystone Country High School has about being in the band, good memories. I can't tell you out of the three years that I've been here how proud I am of this year's group and how you've pulled together as a family did exactly what I would have wished every year's group would have done. Baron Peterson, TV10 Action News.